Hey guys. Hey. So I'm here with Jess. And we are in Saint Tropez. It's so beautiful here. As you can see maybe. It's really early in the morning because we wanted to make some nice pictures today. We would be walking around with no people but everything just looks like very quaint and beautiful. Exactly. Even without taking pictures, it's so nice. Today we're just gonna show you guys how to make Instagram pictures. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's walk around Walking through the streets and finding like a nice sunny kind of sunny spot because the light is like really important Obviously, I think that's number one Good light. Yeah, good light is number one in the morning or the evening are the best Yeah, we pick the morning again for the people Let's go there Okay, so we see like some sun there and we're yeah. gonna head over there and maybe try to make Nice picture. So here we found a gray wall, but it has beautiful flowers on the background and you really see the popping color makes uh, the picture very like fun and bright. And Jess is actually using the, the flower as a prop. So that's very useful. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay, check if you like them. So I feel if you have like the nice, a nice background and nice light, that's like already 80% a nice picture. <laughs> that was actually a really nice spot there. So we're heading now to Little Street where Jess saw yesterday a really nice spot. Great tip is a prop. So like an apple or a tea or something like that. Something so you have some videos of hand. I have coffee. done some pictures with coffee. <laughs> I get so awkward if I'm just standing there, I'm like, eh. It's true, like it makes it easier to move and like it looks more natural because you're actually doing something. Yeah. Because in real life, you're also not just standing in a street. Yeah. No, ever. No, never. <laughs> okay, so now, now I'm taking pictures of sauna backlit like this as well. I was a professional mover. <laughs> Maybe too much like, for the iPhone. <laughs> I feel sometimes also if you make a portrait, if you change like the position of your arms, you see it in your shoulders, which is sometimes like nicer. That's pretty. Okay, so here I have selected a spot for sauna that I thought would be really pretty. You get that kind of like French doorway, and some greenery. You have like that little spot of light on the right there that is really cute. And then she is the centerpiece. I think that's the most important thing too, is like making you the centerpiece of the picture, but making sure that the background is really beautiful. It also helps if when you smile, you actually like laugh or you make a noise when you smile. Like mm. These are so beautiful. Yeah, the light here is pretty. Also, another tip is to just take a million pictures. If you hand your friend your phone, say take 400 pictures. And it kind of has this like dreamy effect on it, which is really pretty. Just like hopped around like some locations and we're heading back to the hotel now. And then we're gonna see like which one we like, edit them. Um, I feel like taking a picture is like 50% of the work. Looking for the right picture, I could spend like so much time on that as well. But um, it's fun as well. Okay guys, so we um, came back in the hotel. We walked around a little bit, as you guys saw. We took some nice pictures. And I think we can like spend hours already like- Oh my God, seriously. Editing and like <laughs> finding new pictures. I think it will be fun to show you guys a little bit like how we edit and choose our pictures. Choose it. What I normally do first when I when I save it, I also cut it in like the right four by five. And then sometimes my picture is like a little bit like not really straight. So I look like turn it around a little bit. I'm using this app, Darkroom. I use Afterlight first, typically. Just Jazz has put her filter on there and custom. <laughs> Yeah, you can immediately see like it brightens up and I'm just gonna like bright my whole picture a little bit 
lately instead of using a filter I'm just um, taking down the saturation a little bit to kind of make the whole background a little bit more grayish I feel if I do that with every picture it yeah it's making everything a little bit the same my skin also gets a little bit darker or like a little more grayish and I do want to keep that like kind of natural so for the skin it's often like orange or like kind of the red so I just uh, put like the saturation on there so you can see my skin is again normal color but the background kind of stays a bit like grayish and those trees I find a bit too green as well so I'm gonna take that down so I feel like my face and my skin is very shiny because of the Sun which is really nice but I do want to have a little bit less so I'm changing like the contrast and the and the highlights as well I do more with lights than anything else to still kind of keep it like a natural picture that's the same thing I'm doing I'm just kind of like playing with I put the highlights down on this picture a little bit just because I was looking a little shiny the shadows um, I took away a little bit as well just to get rid of any shadowing under my eyes or parts of my face that were a little bit too strong and I turned my temperature warm so that it makes it feel very like kind of golden hour no matter what time of the day and I bring my saturation up in these pictures because then I put them through filters on Instagram as well and what I do sometimes as well is I go to this app called Uno it's your whole it's connected to Instagram and it has your whole feed add the picture you want to have and you can see it or you can add like several and you can actually see if it fits the feed yeah, if it fits your page and maybe sometimes you see like oh this picture doesn't really work or if you have a couple of pictures you want to post you can change the order because it looks and instead of like posting it and trying it out you can like try it out on this app and see I recently found out so I recently started <laughs> and it's quite funny your contrast because mine are all kind of like cool colors like kind of gray and blue and you have more like the very warm <laughs> okay, if you guys uh, like this video, please uh, thumbs up and also don't forget to like our picture on Instagram if you uh, enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in my next video. Also, don't forget uh, to follow Jess and to follow subscribe. Um, I will put all the links down below and uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Bye! Bye.